I went ahead and uh, we've got the bottom of the wing completely covered and I went ahead and covered the uh, underneath of the wing tips with yellow because when we wrap the uh, material around for the top I want this already in place and this is just a matter of uh, cutting out your piece and laying it over top of the uh, white covering that uh, is underneath I went ahead and matched up with the lines uh, very straightforward and now we're ready to do the uh, top part of the wing and this will be uh, uh, much more challenging at this point you should be fairly comfortable with uh, using the Econo coat and its characteristics uh, here you're dealing with the uh, the angle of the dihedral along with the curve of the wing and when you get to the wing tip uh, you're going to have a problem getting the material over this wing tip and keeping the wrinkles out. So uh, this is uh, where you'll definitely uh, need to take uh, your time and uh, work work the material out. So let's go ahead and uh, start covering the, uh, the top. One thing you want to do uh, when you cover the top of the wing is, is you want to line your material, your covering up with the leading edge of the wing. You don't want it to wrap all the way around. You want it to come right up to the edge and uh, stop and that gives a nice uh, nice clean uh, transition between the leading edge and the underneath of the wing. Any excess material hanging over the back can be trimmed off but I have this cut so it wraps around and uh, will stop on the uh, trailing end of the wing without it going over. This piece is 8 inches uh, wide and uh, I started with a the length of the roll for the uh, um, for the first piece because I'm adding uh, a piece of uh, yellow film to the wing tip. I'm going to bring it up to this line and uh, put it on. I really don't want to bring the white over the wing tip because uh, it's just so much work trying to stretch this out and get it to fit flat without any wrinkles and then to come back in and put my yellow over it if I have any uh, any areas that I need to pull up I could run the chance of pulling up both pieces of material or lifting the yellow color off of the film so I'm just going to bring the uh, white up to that mark and then I'll overlay my yellow and finish off the top of the wing so let's go ahead and get this started and I'll get a little ways into it and uh, show you how it's going one thing I like to do uh, when, I'm, when I need a critical placement of my film is uh, just to use a couple pieces of tape just to hold it in place until I start, start getting it tacked into place with the iron. And as I start working my way down the wing, uh, I'll need to remove these pieces of tape because uh, the material will start, um, it, it'll, it'll bunch up around this, this tape. So once you get it tacked into place down here, uh, th then you won't need the tape anymore. Now that we've started to uh, put the covering on, um, once you work through this angle on the dihedral here, the dihedral, um, this little bump right here where the wing curves up is going to be your, your challenge to get that transition without any wrinkles. Uh, when you're uh, putting the covering on, don't uh, iron over on the edges because you're going to be pulling up the material quite a bit to get wrinkles out. I got a couple creases right here that I need to work out. I'm going to remove my tape because it's already starting to interfere with uh, how the material wants to move around. And so you'll uh, you'll need to pull up the material a little bit, lay it back down flat, and keep working those wrinkles out. But uh, don't iron over the edges because then uh, when, when it comes time to pull it up to fix it, you'll have a hard time and you could lift uh, the underlying uh, film. So we'll, uh, we'll keep working this, um, this covering out. Work from the center and the middle out to the edges. Working from the uh, thickest part of the wing, the cord of the wing, out to the uh, leading edge and trailing edge and then we'll come back after we get all the wrinkles out across this 
across the top of the wing. Then we'll come back in and we'll slowly start working around our, our, uh, our leading edge. But we'll want to get down the wing in this direction first, across the top of the wing, working out in this direction, and then we'll come back and uh, smooth these out. Now that we've got the uh, top part of the wing covered, now it's time to roll over the material onto the edges. The uh, biggest problem you're going to run into is right here where the dihedral is. On the uh, front end, the uh, leading edge of the wing, and you will need to just take your iron, work along that edge first, and get as much of the wrinkle out as you can, and then start wrapping it around. And what you'll find is, is it'll get real wrinkly where the indention is for the plastic. Um, try and work as much of the wrinkle out as you can, but it's not critical because that piece of plastic will cover over that. Uh, you're more concerned about getting this uh, leading edge of this wing nice and clean with no wrinkles so uh, the air flows over it nice and it looks professional. Uh, in here it's not as critical and then when you also when you do the wing tips and you heat the gun up, the uh, iron uh, to stretch the material out, you can come back, pull on this and kind of uh, stretch it out and uh, uh, stretch it into place. I'm now to the wing tip and I went ahead and laid, uh, got my yellow piece on there and I crank the uh, setting of the iron up to the next level and what we're going to start to do now is we're going to start in the middle and we're going to work our way down the wing tip this way and then we'll slowly start pulling this material and stretching it across the wing tip. Uh, definitely take your time here. You can get it so it's wrinkle free. Um, uh, you just got to work your way down the curve and uh, you, you're going to get to an area where the materials start to bunch up and you just take, pull that material tight. You don't want to yank too hard but take and pull that material tight and let the heat of the gun start working those wrinkles out and uh, you'll be able to get around this, this curve without uh, too many problems. But uh, plan on uh, at least you know, uh, if you've never done this before, uh, at least probably 20-30 minutes of wing tip to get it to look really nice. You know, I've played with it enough now to know how, how to pull and stretch it, but um, in, until you get a feel for how it's going to how it's going to bend around that curve, uh, you'll need to to practice quite a bit. We have uh, one side of the wing top completely covered, and. Uh, we got a few um, wrinkles around the uh, the very uh, tip of the wing. That's probably to be expected, um, you know, depending on how much time you spend and how hard you can pull the material around. You might, you'll get a couple wrinkles in there, uh, but don't worry about it as long as it's nice and smooth. Uh, the last thing we have to do uh, for this wing is fill in these uh, areas where the foam is where we've wrapped the material around from both the top and bottom there's a little diamond shaped left in these corners I went ahead and cut little strips and uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, put those in and finish uh, these off and these will be done and then we're ready to start on the other side of the wing and again you put on your white material start in the middle work your way out in these directions in this direction uh, wrapping the material around after you get this all done in here and then uh, working on your wing tip come back in set your iron hot hotter to stretch the material around your wing tip and to stretch the material in here and when we're done with that we'll go on to the next section which is cutting out the holes where the servos are and uh, mounting the servos and uh, mounting the ailerons